And let's keep on that that high standard of the Steelers franchise. Uh, I think Mike Tomlin uh, earned so many more brownie points Sunday. We got Antonio Brown. Antonio about business Brown. Antonio the jackass Brown. So, Sorry, guys. I just saw that I was uh, underdressed for this conversation. Well, uh, so I had to go ahead and uh, put some, something on that, you know, mimic something is that so we can have an appropriate is, conversation. Is that, that, is that Juju? So that's, it's, it's Juju's number, but uh, it's a custom eight jersey. We don't we don't we don't support TikTok fans here, Rose Steelers fans. We don't we don't support that uh that uh TikTok and before games just to get hurt and and things like that. So that's, it may be that's his number. The whole damn wide receiving core. So uh, well, well, it's not. Let me real quick, guys. So Antonio okay. Brown has a track record, and there are some parts of his track record that I'm not going to get into, and there's some that I want to talk about. Um. He turns back on the Pittsburgh Steelers that last season there. They were still fighting for a playoff for a playoff spot. And he acted an ass. Excuse me, he acted a jackass, because that's me as a jackass. And he got sent home by Coach Tomlin. Uh, if you go back before that, he records Coach Tomlin in the post game or Facebook Live. Jackassery. Uh going on going on live talking crazy about his baby moms. Yo, that's jackassery. Like you can feel that, but doing that on social media is jackassery. Tossing yeah. furniture off the 14, 14th floor, that's jackassery. Um, going to a cryo chamber with wet feet, that is jackassery. Trying to sneak a helmet that you know is not legal is jackassery. Okay, when he finally got let go after calling his GM a, a, a racial slur, and he ended up having to give back his signing bonus, jackassery. You know, he, he just has this, this long line of jackassery. Like, he doesn't pay people for providing services. Jackassery. The the COVID card thing, I, I don't really care about that. It's a lot of people that were fake COVID cards, and he's not the only one in the NFL. But because he didn't pay anybody, he's the one that got caught. Then, yep. finally, here comes the time where we should – Show some remorse for Antonio Brown. If what was reported was true, that he went out there, he tried to he tried to tough through an injury that he'd been sidelined for prior to his suspension. He was really only, he, he lost pay for three games, but he was only going to play in one of those games uh, because of the injury. He toughs it out. He doesn't practice this week. First half he's playing five targets, three catches. Apparently, according to Skip Bayless and his sources. Uh, somebody close to AB was talked when the time was like, "Hey, man, giving your boy the ball." Speaking of Gronk, Brady was heavy on Gronk. Yeah, AB, he likes you, but you're not Gronk. Um, and that was an issue. Then Bruce Arians told me to get back in the game. AB goes, "Hey, man, I can't coach. I'm hurt." And it's like, "Hey, get your ass back in the game or go home." And if you know anything about AB, when you give him the opportunity to act up, oh, he's gonna take it. And that's exactly what happened there. Now, the unfortunate part is because of the way he exited, we're not even giving Bruce Arians the attention that he deserves because what Bruce Arians did is absolutely fucked up. If a player is hurt and he says, Coach, I can't go, who the hell are you to say get off this team if you can't go? But Bruce Arians was looking for a reason to get rid of A.B. because he didn't want him there. But the problem is A.B. has cried jackass so many times that the time that he actually deserves remorse, we can't give it to him because what does he do? He, he takes all this stuff off on the field. He throws his, 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 his gloves. He throws his undershirt into the stands. And he's doing jumping jacks in the back of the end zone looking like a darn jackass. So I, I really hate that, you know, that this has happened, but we can't – sympathize with him because for one he's been enabled for so many years the, the Steelers enabled it because he was great the, the, the Raiders enabled behavior because he was great the, the Patriots enabled behavior because he was great Tom Brady enabled his behavior because he was great but now the greatness is running low and the behavior is running high and, and here's my one issue though for all of these people on TV who are trying to say is it CTE he needs the mental health it was it like bro get out of his head Evaluate what you see and comment on it. Because guess what? Even if it is mental health, 
it is your responsibility to manage your mental health. If, 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 if I go shoot up a school, if I go shoot up a park, if I just shoot up my apartment complex right now and I cry mental health, guess what? I may not be in prison at first, but I'm going to be in a psych ward because I could not control my mental health. OK, and for y'all to try to get in his head and then paint him as this mental health victim and you don't know what's going on. Shut up. Dan Patrick talked about. I don't really think he's been the same since that Vontez Burfitt kid. Get out of here, bro. He got kicked out of FIU for fighting as like a security guard before he even played a down for him. This has been conduct that he has been guilty of throughout his life. I can't sum AB up as anything more than like a nigga who know he good. Who's been who's been enabled because he was good his entire life and it's finally ran out. 